Hi, welcome to Rick Snyder's Washington on YouTube, where you get the whole story. So please like, share, subscribe, comment, and hit that thanks button, which is the dollar sign under me. All right, did the Washington Commanders suddenly see the future without Chase Young with Casey Tuhill getting that spot? Definitely an interesting thing after the Atlanta game where Casey Tuhill got two sacks. Okay, he's only got five total in a career, but this is a guy with some promise. Uh, Stanford guy, so he must be smart. Uh, was drafted in the seventh round by Philadelphia in 2020, but ended up on Washington's roster in the end. And the last three years has played some regular snaps. Uh, only had five total sacks, and two of them came against the Lamb. They were two good ones, I'll say that. Casey only cost a million dollars this year. A million. I wish I could only cost a million. Uh, you know, conversely, Montez Sweat cost 11.5. Chase is costing 11. Next year, this team's got to make some hard decisions on this line. They've already re-signed Payne and Allen. Payne next year will be making $21.6 million, and Allen will be making twenty one point five. So you can't afford to pay Chase and Montez each, you know, 20 or whatever it's going to be. You know, 14 plus is probably the beginning. And so Chase, who has not played as well and has had an injury or two, is the hard guy that you have to cut. A second overall pick a few years ago, and you hate to let it go. It would get a third-round compensation pick uh, if he does sign elsewhere. Uh, or they could tag him and keep him, but it's not an easy thing. But Casey Tuhill makes this a little easier to do because you have to say you got to save money somewhere as an undrafted free, as an unrestricted free agent next year. Um, you know, his cost is going to be fractional compared to the other guys. So maybe Casey Tuhill suddenly shows that he is the future. I'm Rick Snyder. Thanks for coming. See you soon.